And we're going to have our Bible readings now. Reading is from 1 Kings, chapter 19, beginning at verse 9. Elisha flees to Horeb. He travelled for 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of the Lord, where he went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very jealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites rejected your covenant, broken down your altars, and put your prophets to death by the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, and the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountain apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled the cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very jealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant broken down your altars, and put your prophets to death. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came, and go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazael king over Aram. Also anoint Jehu son of Nimshi king over Israel and anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, from abel Mehoa, to succeed you as prophet. Jehu will put to death any who escape the sword of Hazael, and Elisha will put to death any who escape the sword of Jehu. Yet I reserve seven thousand in Israel, whose knees have not bowed down to Baal, and whose mouths have not kissed him. This is the word of the Lord. Second lesson from the ninth chapter of Luke, beginning at the 28th verse. About eight days after Jesus and he, and the, said this, he took Peter, John and James with him and went up into a mountain to pray. As he was praying, the appearance of a face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendour, talking with Jesus. They spoke about his departure, which was about to begin, bring fulfilment to Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were very sleepy, but when they were, became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As the men were leaving Jesus, poor Peter said to him, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. While he was speaking, a cloud appeared and enveloped them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. A voice from the cloud saying, This is my son, when I, whom I have chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, they found that Jesus was alone. The disciples kept this to themselves and told no one at this time what they had seen. Our third hymn is, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. <laughs> 